Hey, hi, hello my friends. It's Christy with 4AM Junk Journals and I'm here to do a little like craft along with you. I don't really have a plan um, so I was hoping maybe we could just turn the camera on. I'll set a, a timer. And we'll just craft for an hour or so and see how things go. Um, so yeah, what I want to start with is making a journal topper. So give me just a second. Alexa, start a one hour timer. One hour, starting now. You can extend or shorten your timers at any time. Just ask me to add five minutes to my timer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and apologize to those of you that I just set yours off by saying that. Um, I've had several people comment that when I do that, that theirs uh, starts one too. <laughs> I'm trying to watch what I say because if I say the A-L-E-X-A -E word, she's going to wake up. So anyway, my apologies if I set yours off. Um, okay, I'm going to try using uh, the um, glue stick. And then if I need to come back and um, add any wet glue, I will. But I'm probably going to sew this. So um, I'm not for sure. I might not. But in the event that I do, I really hate to use the wet glue um, if I'm sewing anyway. No, because it does wrinkle it a little bit, and, um, you know, if I'm going to sew it down anyhow, what's the point of wrinkling it, right? But I haven't decided for sure. We'll see how we like it, since I haven't even really decided exactly what I'm going to do. Oops. Ooh, it's sticking good, though. It didn't want to come back off. And I'm going to mess around until it loses all its sticky. I'm trying to get it on there right. Okay. There we go. I think we're good now. I have been working on my crafting room um, kind of off and on the last few days. I've been feeling so sick that um, I haven't been able to do a whole lot of anything, but um, I have been working on it. I got the um, little accessory things for my pegboards that my husband got me and hung up. And, um, so that's been good because I've been organizing using the pegboards and that's been loads of fun. And then if you saw my, um, my thrift shop haul yesterday, I picked up, um, you know, a bunch of pencil boxes and things. I've been kind of organizing that way. And so, yeah, I do, I, I've done as much as I can do like sitting, you know what I mean? Like. Well, not as much as I can do, but I've done quite a bit sitting. It's this stuff that requires me to get up and move around that's been a problem because every time I stood up, I would get dizzy. Um, so, so yeah. Um, and I did some of that anyway because I have been putting stuff up on the pegboards and stuff, which requires me to stand up. But not as much as I've been doing of the sitting on my booty work. So, I'm liking that. That's nice. I like that. Now, <laughs> I'm going to do something that um, I might regret, and I'm going to tear this. I want the dress. I do not want to mess with this. I want to save this for another project. So, pray that this goes well. Um, anyway, huh, it 
it worked. I'm absolutely stunned that that worked. I'm going to tear this off. So um, this paper came from Timu. Um, I got it in, there was like a pack. Um, I think there was 15 sheets and it's the large paper. Let me just show you real quick. If you've already watched my haul, you've already seen this, but had the two pieces that you just saw me use. And then these... I love those envelopes and the fans are pretty. Love the girl on the horse. Those corsets. Oh my goodness, those corsets. Um, so anyway, not to just go through the everything over again if you've already seen the, the haul video, but this paper is probably my favorite. Look at that my favorite thing I got, but this is my very favorite page, and I'm going to hoard the heck out of this because I don't, I want to use it, and I don't want to use it, because if I use it, I don't have it anymore, <laughs> so um, anyway, I do love that paper, I don't remember what I paid for it, I'll put it in the description, um, but yeah, so that's probably my favorite thing that I got, um, was that paper pack. Oh, that and my, um, burnt washi, which we might use on this project, actually. Mm, I gotta get some ink, guys. I put my ink on the wall on the pegboard. Hold on. So I got down the Abandoned Coral, the Frayed Burlap, and the Vintage Photo, and we'll use those. I don't want to do too much, but I do want a nice edge on this so that it shows against the other paper. Um, I just don't want to get carried away with the ink. Sometimes I get a little carried away because I just love it so much. I'm an inky kind of person. I'm going to use the vintage photo, I think. I was debating between it and the frayed burlap, but I think I'm going to go with the vintage photo. take a look. Still in camera? Yes? Okay. My art before breakfast this morning, I lost a lot of footage because I got off camera without realizing it and had to like basically throw that footage out. So, yep, I like that. Like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Okay. Let's grab my glue stick. I'm laying this on pretty thick because I want the glue stick to hold. And the thicker I get it, the better it'll hold. glue squeeze out the side there but that's okay because it dries clear and it won't be an issue at all gosh 
gosh, that's pretty. Okay. some decisions about what do I want to do with it. I, um, like I said, I, uh, set that over there. I don't really have a plan. I'm just kind of winging it. Um, I think I might um, use this image right here. I can fussy cut it. to take my son to the doctor tomorrow so that's I'm um, gonna make for a shortened day at work tomorrow which is both good and bad I mean I always down for a shorter day at work but you know just which is terrible but you know who wants to spend all their time at work right but at the same time I've got a lot going on a lot of things I need to be doing and um, and uh, Plus, I need the hours, right? So, you know, that's the downside to taking off early as you lose your hours. And since I always leave early on Wednesdays, I try to get full days, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. But it'll be all right. It's not a big deal. The kids got to go to the doctor, and that's more important than anything Okay, so I made a mistake because that's too large. I don't want her going off the page, and I don't want to cover that. Well, maybe right here. What do you all think? Maybe right there? That's going to cover most of the dress. It could come off the page a little bit because this is a journal topper. This isn't... If I adhered her to something steady... Then I could put her there. She could come off the page a little bit and it wouldn't matter. Let's do that. Let's get some cardstock or something. I actually got this packaging. I could use it. I know you guys can't see that, but let me um, cut this and then I can get it all under the camera. Sorry, I kept keep hitting the camera. Um, so I can I can adhere that right there, and that'll give it some sturdiness, and then we can put it on there. So let's do that. Um, but for this, we're going to have to use the wet glue um, because I don't trust the glue stick for something like that. Again, it's a journal topper, so it has different rules. <laughs> um, 
I don't mind it coming off the page. I mean, I usually don't with journal cards or tags either really mind it, but um, I have to worry about, you know, is it going to fit on the page or whatever. If I'm making a journal topper, the journal is going to be the size that the topper allows for, right? So, because you have to plan your journals like that. Yeah, I need to clean that. Um, so yeah. This journal topper will probably go into my Etsy store, which I am um, reopening. I took a lot of the stuff I used to sell out of it because it's not... Um, not one-on-one -on -one in there right now. Um, it was not uh, art stuff. It was, anyway, um, it was more vintage stuff. Um, but all that to say, I'll probably put it back at, one, at some point. But right now, um, I am planning to make several journal toppers and, you know, maybe some, some ephemera pieces and um and you know hopefully i'll get some of my journals up in there soon um i keep starting them and just kind of holding on them and the problem is that like i have a vision for them and i can't find all the stuff that i want for them and so they have to just sit until i find the stuff i want for them for instance on the blue jean pup journal I really wanted a um, a blue je a pocket from a pair of blue jeans to put on the back of the journal, um, and my daughter has you know young children, so I figured because it's going to need to be you know a kid's size, and she has young children, and so I asked her to bring me you know because she said she they had a bunch that they'd outgrown, and I said could you please bring me one. And she did, but they were black jeans. And I don't want the black jeans. I want blue jeans. So, which is not a big deal. I can just go to Goodwill or somewhere and buy a pair for, you know, three or four dollars and cut the pocket off. It's not a big thing, but I just haven't done it. So, Okay, so that's going to make that nice and sturdy. And it doesn't matter what it looks like on the back because we're not really going to see it. We're going to put it like that. And see, you can still see the back of the card too. We may cover that. I don't know. But anyway. Hmm. I wonder if I should sew around it. I'm thinking I'm not going to sew around her. I'm wondering about sewing around this before I put her on there. Or if I just want to leave it. I'm not going to sew it. I'm not. So, um... So I know I want to put her on there. We'll do that like that. And then I wonder about putting like a fan.
Maybe we need something behind it. Something to like back it onto. Um, maybe we need to do something like. Could we do it with this? I bet we could. Let's see. Um. Let's put this fan down on this. I just think, I mean, all the patterns are so matchy-matchy that they're kind of um, uh, blending in to one another. And... Um, we need something that's going to stand out a little bit. So I'm thinking. So I don't know guys, um, leave me a comment. Let me know if, um, you know, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see in my Etsy shop. I have considered putting like my art before breakfast stuff in there when I complete it. Um, you know, the, the ones that I'm not planning to use for my, for my own stuff. Um, I have considered putting some of those in there. Um, like I said, I, I was thinking about doing some journal toppers um, and um, some journals, maybe some flowish journals, I'm not sure, and maybe some like ephemera packs. Um, but let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see um, because I would be interested, very interested to hear your opinions since, you know, I'm not going to sell them to myself. So if you guys aren't interested, then what's the point, right? So let me know. If you have thoughts. About those. It's all right. It's pretty. Didn't come out quite like I thought, but it's pretty. I like it. I need some lace, I think. Okay, let's see what we've got. I've got... All the things. Oh, you know what I've got though? Hold up. Yesterday, if you saw my thrift store haul, you know that yesterday at the thrift shop, I got a bag that had four crocheted doilies in it for a dollar and a half. And these might be perfect. Oh, look at that. That. Oh, that is gorgeous. That wins. That's. That's the thing. I was going to consider the heart, but it's not. It's this. It's this. Or do we do both? Nope. It's definitely this. Oh, my goodness. Could that be any more perfect? Okay. All right. Uh, Fabri-Tac.
Um, let's come in with some. I got this um, from Timu as well, and this is a uh, this is giving me a hard time, is what this is. This is um. some um, like burnt looking washi and um, it's one of my favorite things I got um, like I said this and that paper that we're using um, so I got like seven rolls of it I want to say it was like a dollar 28 a roll or I think a dollar 28 a roll but I'll put it in the description um, but gosh it's so pretty look at this hold on hold on hold on I'll show you Sorry guys, it was taking a minute. Okay, there we go. All right, so, and I love it too because it's got, it's it's the washi tape with the backing. So you know that always sticks better. What if we came out this side? Hmm. Okay, no, it's uh, got to go that way. But maybe we could put some to the little girl. Maybe. And the colors are very uh, much in line with the colors on this. So. So when I post this, I will also um, make it live in the Etsy shop. So um, assuming that there are no complications, if there are any complications, I'll let you know. But assuming that there are no complications, when this video goes up, this will already be in the Etsy shop. So if you're interested, you can pop over there and I'll put the link in the description. Gonna give that some time to really dry so it'll stick good. Need something over here. Not sure what.
let's try it. I'm going to get my trimmer though because I want it to be nice and straight. I don't know. No, nope, I don't think I like it. Um, what if? I wonder if it would be too much. To run some lace down the side. You could sew that lace on. Just, I mean, not obviously that wide. No, I don't like it. Okay, never mind. Um, I also have this crochet collar that I could cut down and just do... I already have that crochet doily there. I think that's too much, too. Another option. <laughs> I'm just full of the options. What about like this? I still think it's too much. I feel like it needs something, but everything I'm trying just feels like too much. Um, of course, this has to go there still. Um, This one could theoretically go that way, but I think then it clashes with the one that's already there, which I cannot put that way without the right, well, without the writing being upside down, unless I can find a spot on it where there's no writing. Let's see. Or at least none that would show. Maybe if I went like that and then I'd put the fan over it and maybe it wouldn't show. It would be quite a bit of waste. Well, it wouldn't be because I wouldn't waste it, but I'm just saying like I have to cut all that off because like that would all show. But maybe I could get away with this. I'm certainly not going to waste it, I promise you. This is like one of my favorite things. If I haven't already said that like 45 times, I know. Um,
Now the question is, is it too much? I don't I think it's good I think it's good um I feel like this needs to be like up a little more but then I also don't want everything popped up because that's pretty popped up right there so maybe maybe not or maybe possibly just like one more layer where'd that paper or that cardstock go that packaging and stuff I was using. Where'd I put it, guys? I know you know. Oh, <laughs> I cut off that. Never mind. Just kidding. Okay. Um, where'd I put the big piece? There it is. Okay, so maybe if we took this and we put it on here, right? And we could go just let's do it. And I'm going to get out my watercolor pens and I'm going to watercolor around this um, and we're going to see if it, um, I'm going to do it before I put it down on there. We're going to see if it makes it appear a little more finished. doing good time wise we have about 20 minutes left and we're getting close to being done with this I think I do want to cover the back of it which if I can find my watercolor paper I might use it to cover the back it's here somewhere So I've got Art Before Breakfast. No, not Art Before Breakfast. I've, I've got that too. But I have um, 10 for Tuesday planned for this week and for the following week. And I think for the week after that. So I think I have three weeks worth of plans. Now it comes down to filming. But I think I have it planned. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, I like that better. That pops a little better up. It's not as popped as that, but it's popped. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Okay, anyway. Probably not because I said it, so it probably does not make sense. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, I am starting to get a little headache from that medicine. I was sitting here thinking, oh, I'm doing so good with this other new medication I started today. It's not bothering me at all. Now I'm starting to get a bit of a headache. Now, whether that's from that medication or not, I don't know. But I am starting to get one. And so I get them a lot though because of the their migraines from menopause ladies who on earth decided that menopause should be like this because we need to have a talk with them because I'm thinking this is some not cool stuff. not cool at all kind of stuff
Boy, I feel like I've been whining a lot about the way I feel today. I'm so sorry. I try real hard not to mention it. And half the time when I do mention it, I go in and edit it out. I do not want to be whining at you. Nobody wants to be whined up. I'm going to put a touch of water on there. Let those colors run a bit. I want the watercolors to watercolor for me. dry a little bit. And then we'll put it on there. It's a little bright, isn't it? I think it needs a little bit of distressing. That's a little bright that color is. Now, the watercolor should kind of mute that a little bit the water that i added to it should kind of mute that a little bit but it's still a little brighter than i'd like it to be and the water can interact with the or react with the vintage photo too and kind of give it a that might be better What do y'all think? Is that better? Or is it still too bright? Because I can put a little bit more water on there. And mute it down a little more. Hmm. I'm starting to get a little hungry. It's 317. I did have a donut a little bit ago. My son had brought some donuts and I was too sick when he got here to eat them. And so he left some and I had to take that pill. So I went in there a little while ago and had a donut. Probably shouldn't have because now I feel a little bit ill, but um, I am starting to get kind of hungry. Donuts don't do much for the hunger, you know. They do help the blood sugar when it gets low, but they don't do much for hunger. Okay. Hi, baby. My son just popped in the room to say hi. Um, okay. So I'm liking that, but it does need to dry a little bit. But I think it can go right there. And that needs to dry a little bit. And I'm wondering if we still need anything or if we're good. What do y'all think? I think we're good. I think there's enough. Maybe do some um, vintage photo around the whole thing before I glue that on. But and then, like I said, I might uh, cover the back um, with something.
Okay, sorry, but I don't know why my camera just suddenly shut off. But I think that means that my time's about up, is what I think that means. Mm -hmm. It says I have 10 minutes left, but I don't know if the camera's going to agree with that. Um. Trying to decide. I think I'm going to go up about there. I almost feel like it needs a little lace up here. Um, I know I said I thought we were good, but I almost feel like it's just yelling at me to put a little bit of lace right there. But I just don't know what. Nothing feels right. Let's see about this. I don't want anything bright white. I know that. Could do a little bit of this underneath there. And then across. Is that going to be too much with the doily there? That just feels like too much to me. Guys, I'm going to call that a journal topper. Um, leaving it the way I am is going to allow whoever gets it to um, alter it how they see fit for their journal. Um, so I am going to stop and let them make that decision for themselves. Um, so, yeah. And I don't want to get totally grungy on this um, but I did want some, you know, edging ink. I think it turned out really pretty. I'm really happy with that. What do y'all think? Do you like it? Well, we are at about 53 minutes so thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it i hope you found it useful or at the very least entertaining i hope that you crafted along and i hope that you'll come back and join me for another video again soon if you like what you saw today give me a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more from this channel hit that subscribe button and if you click the little bell it will notify you every time i upload a new video leave me a comment down below let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting today. And be sure and check out the link when I put it in the video for my YouTube channel. Or I'm sorry, not for my YouTube channel. For my Etsy shop. And check out my Timu link um, for an extra 30% off of your order for if you're a first time, uh, first time purchaser person. And um, yeah, I will talk with all of you again very soon. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.